Let's get physical. It's February the 5th until the 9th. Let's see what wonderful games we've got this week. Konosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world. Love for these clothes of desire is the big one this week, if only taking into account the length of its name. I feel like this has been a long time coming. I've always been a distant admirer of the Konosuba games that I see getting released in Japan, but now we're finally getting our first Switch localization. And all right, it's not the dungeon crawling RPG I was hoping for. Instead, it's a, well, it's a visual novel mixed with resource management. Maybe? I don't know. I've got Katie working on like a mini review for this, so hopefully she can explain it much better than myself or P-Cube's PR team. They ain't been paid enough for this one, but I am fascinated nonetheless. And our executive producer, Robotech, has chosen this as his pick of the week. And if you want it or any of the retail releases in this episode, or just in general, then please consider checking the links below in the description you can purchase from Video Games Plus, a fantastic way to support us. They have prices and good cheap Canadian money, they have cheap shipping to the US, and even free shipping worldwide if you purchase over 80 Canadian bucks, which is like 60 American dollars. They have lots of great stuff over there, my preferred way to pick up retail releases, but you can also grab rarer stuff, like they have limited runs Persona 3 Portable, they have Caligula Effect reprints go check them out plus if you purchase something via our link then each week you will be in with a chance of winning a ten dollar discount coupon and this week's winner is larry w congratulations larry you will get an email from vgp if you haven't already with your discount code thank you ever so much saga of sins is releasing in north america this week this already has a european release it's a pretty interesting looking action adventure game. It's obviously relying a lot on its visual style rather than its gameplay. It's like medieval stained glass or something with animation to match medieval animation technology. It's very authentic. Those Anglo-Saxons were pioneers in wireframe techniques way ahead of their time. It got mixed reaction over on Steam, pointing out exactly what I just said. It's almost like I have special powers known as watching the trailer. Anybody in Europe pick this up yet? Should North Americans get it? I would like to know. But either way, two of our executive producers, my man in Japan, V, and God of Resin, have chosen this as their pick of the week. And that's it for retail releases. Again, not too much. So we're going to go to the low prints. Risk System is VGNY's latest Switch release. It's been a while since their last one, but you won't be surprised to hear it's a shooter. They bloody love them. This one is another smaller one, an indie shooter, but I really like the style. There's a bit of cell shading about it. The gameplay lives up to its name too. It's Risky Systems, kind of. It's like the burnout of the shmup world. The closer you are to getting your ass singed by lasers, the more powerful you become. Sadly, unlike Burnout, you can't force your opponent into an oncoming truck, but you can absorb their power and blast them in the face with it, which sounds just as good. Anyways, you can pre-order this from VGNY's website if you're in the USA, or Video Games Plus for international buyers. There are two cover versions available, and if you pre-order within 24 hours on February the 7th, you get a free pin thing. And our executive producers, Instacritic and Totally Grateful, have chosen this as their pick of the week. Euphoria 2 is getting a release thanks to Red Art Games. This is the long-awaited sequel that no one was actually waiting for, but we're still happy anyways, to an NES game that older people than myself may be familiar with, although it never actually released in North America, only Europe and Japan. But from what I'm aware, it was a super commendable late release in the system's life, and this looks like a commendable late release in the Switch's life. It looks absolutely adorable. Simple platformer with a sprinkling of, you know, Nintendo magic in it. It reminds me of, like, Yoshi's Woolly World or Kirby's Epic Yarn with the art style. Could be a simple one for kids, and I'm definitely sold on it. There is a standard edition in North America via Video Games Plus. There's also the European version, of course, at Red Art Games' website via the link in the description you can get the deluxe edition which is the same price as the standard but comes with a really nice game sleeve i like it a lot very nostalgic for some reason and you can get 10 percent off of that with the code s watch 10 which should work donut dodo is picks and loves latest switch release this one surprised me a little bit because i see people 
always asking for a physical release of this, and I, I've never really understood why. Maybe I'm shallower than a puppy's piss puddle, but it never screamed like, this is an amazing game that needs a physical. But apparently, it emulates the classic arcade games of the 80s to perfection. Like it really fits in if you need some Donkey Kong or burger time in your life. And to be frank, which I'm not often frank because he doesn't like me possessing his body, I love classic arcade games, so I will probably enjoy this too. There is a first edition as well as a day one edition, which might be the next big philosophical question. Which came first, the first edition or the day one edition? No, I'm Spartacus. I'm surprised they didn't also have a pre-order edition, a backer edition and a midnight release edition so they can all have a big free-for-all war about which one is actually the first one. You can pre-order it from Pix and Love's website right now. Felix the Cat is Limited Run's Switch release this week. This stellar package contains Felix the Cat and, lest we forget, Felix the Cat, the NES game and the Game Boy version. Pretty commendable platformers for the era, perhaps even considered hidden gems. I don't really know how popular this was, but I saw a few 40-year-olds ejaculate mid-announcement, so that's always a good sign for those who have all the money to be milked. And milked this will be, because it's got Konami's label slapped on it. But yeah, I guess I'm just happy this is way better than the Bill and Ted duology. And our executive producers, Cartoon Soren and Jennifer M, have chosen this as their pick of the week. Now normally this is where I would get into the imports, but Japan is taking a break this week. Not to worry because if you saw my video on Thursday, Play Asia have a decent promotion going on. Three games for 100 bucks, shipped for free. And you can get an extra 5% off with our brand new code. It's happening ladies and gentlemen, SWTV is dead. It is now Jordan24. Spread the word. Spread it more than you spread butter on bread. More than hookers... You, you get the idea. It's not every game, but there's like 3,000 games available. So uh, yeah, go check it out and caress that new Jordan24. And also, later this week, I will be making an upcoming imports video. I was going to shove it in here, but there's like more than 30 games. So I didn't have that much time. So stay tuned for that later this week. Now before we get into the community spotlight, I would like to thank all of you for your kind words last week, literally all positive about me joining Premium Edition Games, and thank you for all your game suggestions. Although just a forewarning, we won't be porting Skies of Arcadia to the Nintendo Switch, at least not until I'm a billionaire. I swear, if you guys help me grow and help me become a billionaire, I promise you, I promise you, I will port Skies of Arcadia to every system ever, even the NES. I will pay someone to demake Skies of Arcadia for the NES, but for now, that is out of my hands, okay? But yes, once again, thank you for your kind words. This week, I want to give a little shout out to Anuchard, which is a top-down action adventure game compared to the likes of The Legend of Zelda series. But instead of wielding a master sword, this guy wields a bell. You can whack enemies with it and also solve puzzles. Those dungeon designers were so thoughtful to include the bell peripheral for solving puzzles. This is a super underrated game. Not many people talk about it and even me, I hadn't heard about it until Premium Edition Games opened pre-orders for it, which you can still pre-order right now in a standard Premium Edition or a Retro Edition. Go have a look, it is a really good game. Alright, on to you lot. Brian A sent in this photo picking up an early classic in Cave Story Plus. It is one of the few Switch games that I've actually sold off. I actually needed some money to help fund my visit back to the UK, but I mean that was like ages ago. I'm alright now and uh, I would probably buy it back if I had the chance because it's a good game. Executive producer Cartoon Soren sent in this photo with some older limited run releases. Earth Knight is currently discounted on Video Games Plus, it's like 20 bucks or something, that's a good price. Chew it, sent in this huge photo. I don't even know where to look or what to talk about with these ones, but that Among Us is that's a good old chunker, especially for a game that's like less than five bucks. They really went into that one. Dark X sent in this photo showing off the Pixel Remaster, the collector's edition from Square Enix's website, which sold out in about five minutes when everyone was sleeping. Good job, Square. Evil McCloud sent in this photo with Yu Suzuki's latest masterpiece. According to that sticker anyways, that's one for the 40 year olds out there. 
Executive producer God of Resin sending this photo with Rhapsody. I'm writing up my script for the retrospective of the first game in the series, which will be on a bit more Jordan in the next couple of weeks. Executive producer Instacritic sending this photo with Walking Dead Destinies. I was actually worried this would be one of those games that gets listed everywhere, but always gets pushed back and back and back and never seems to release. But no, look, it's here. JB in my knot sending this photo with Farmers vs Zombies, which I believe is a European exclusive, or at least I don't think it came out in North America. Lady B sending this photo with Demon Throttle, the mini collector's edition. I actually bought this myself, at least the standard edition, because it was 20 bucks. And seemed, you know, like a fun time for that. Lewis K sending this photo, picking up Tiny Kin from Super Rare Games, which is considered a fantastic indie game. Reviews for this one are insane, and it's a good one from Super Rare. Sadly, sold out, of course. Stephen D sent in this photo, including the Zero Tolerance Collection from Strictly Limited Games, and weirdly, I actually bought this myself because Play Asia recently had a weird deal with Strictly Limited Games where they had a bunch of their games and they were heavily discounted. So, you know, with some spare coins, I got it for like less than 20 bucks, and you know, it's got me intrigued enough. Steven 65 sent in this photo with Prince of Persia, which Juan included in a video on Friday. The Essential Metroidvanias on Switch 24 of the best of the best. Go check it out if you haven't already. Vast Neon sent in this photo, including Curse of Kudan, an obscure visual novel. Another Yuri that's an import exclusive with English. I can't imagine too many people importing it, but I've heard it's pretty good. Executive producer Vei, my man in Japan, sent in this photo, including the Kosen Double Pack Enigma Machine, Alterity Experience, and of course, Persona 3 Portable. You can get it from Video Games Plus right now, don't miss it. Alright, let's have a roundup. Choco Loco James, Wimpy, Manji, Andrew R. Dennis and Vicky Psych Villain Robin H Cresselac McLaren Darky Bunny Bear Needless Dragon Radio to Rancid Mickey McFlynn Mr. Matt Hobb Ashura G Alright, please send me your pictures on Twitter at so what about game DM me, okay? Do not tag me in a post. We have an email address, switchwatchspotlight at gmail.com. And our Discord, the server link should probably be below. Sometimes I forget to put it there, but it should be there. And uh, yeah, only send me one pitch per week, and it must include at least one thing that's Nintendo Switch related. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did watch all the way through, please leave me a donut emoji in honor of Donut Dodo. As always, special thanks to our executive producers, Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boom Box, Brent McLean, Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Cato, Jcross7776, Punky Dooster, Cartoon Siren, Robotech Z, Raven Knight, Thorn Metal Luna, Parsnip Coffee, Isa, They, Mental Traveler, Off Bone, Jennifer M, Precision Plague, Instacritic, Kadaja, Totally Grateful, Alex M, and Feig. And yes, please go check out some of our other stuff, the Metroidvanias, go check that out. And my other channel, A Bit More Jordan, I'm on a Dreamcast adventure. And also, Physical Paradise, it's like a watered down version of this. If you want to see some recent physical announcements, go check that video out there.